Hello, I am Julia of Julia K Art Studio. So today there is an update in the shop. This time is a little bit different because I'm also having a few original art pieces in the shop. And you can find original art in the shop. I just don't really talk about it that much. And this time I felt like I, I really want to talk about them. So I thought I'm going to sit down, talk about the pieces while I am doing some sketching, painting in my sketchbook related obviously to the art pieces but I'm, I'm going to do it in my sketchbook because I'm a little bit nervous to talk about it and I just feel better doing that kind of like working it through in my sketchbook. Uh, before we get started I am using uh, an indigo by Artway. It is a very long landscape format journal and it's made with cotton handmade paper here you can see a page filled with breasts with human female breasts of all different sizes and shapes and colors so i'm just going to take um, a clean page a little bit later here in the book so i'm going to use I say hesitantly because I don't know where I put them. I'm just going to pick a, a water soluble color pencil and I'm going to use that as a base when I uh, draw in the the first lines just because I like um, like having that and I like to pick a color that is sort of um, fits into the tone so I'm going to go with a sort of a, a muted brown color. Why breasts? Like it's a little bit of an odd, odd subject. I can I can see that. I have seen quite a lot of sort of art pieces or patterns these past years with um, with breasts, and I really like them. I really like the the patterns that they have made, where you have all of these different. Sh uh, the most the most patterns I have seen has been just like on a on. Um, a single colored background and then the breasts have been like black outlines so that sort of like we are all together we are all different but you know the same <laughs> so a while ago uh, I would say like a year a year and a half or like a year or a half a year ago I did like I tried to do some practicing you know I tried to be good and develop so I um, tried to do some nude figures and I painted this one and I was really happy with just like the values of it and then I went in with some of the paints that I made. I make a lot of metallic or sparkly watercolors and I just added stretch marks to her and I just really loved the look of it um, to sort of Seeing her standing in this pose, just being so confident and sort of having that, um, just showing off these marks that are are ugly or disgusting. Yes, I've heard many words, and I just really love that. So I did that, and then you know life goes on. And but something in me um, made me pick this idea up again and I thought I wanted to do something like that again and focus on on breasts and uh, because that is something that has been very very uh, a personal thing for me so here in this journal you can see I just started with drawing breasts because I wanted to to practice a little bit before I just got straight into it so here I have a few more and then what I really wanted to do was I have this vision of having the different sizes and shapes and colors and then doing these lines these stretch marks in these amazing pretty magical colors I think anyway, that I make that are sparkly and metallic and pearlescent and color shifting and I wanted to have my prettiest colors um, on the stretch marks to really like these it's not ugly you know so here I have a few different and you can see ne the names next to them is the color I've used so you can see Stina, Atia, Ellen, Glimra, 
Vendela. I mean, I really, uh, these I have done to really like contrasting, but I feel like using Vendela on these very, very light skin looks very, sort of, not realistic, but yeah, sort of. Uh, and here I used a holographic foil. And then we have a few more back here. So, uh, now you're thinking, okay, you're a bit obsessed with breasts, and yes, yes, a little bit. Um, so why, where did this all come from? Like, why? And that's a fair question, and that's why I'm making this video, because um, I feel like as, as artists, it's kind of very common that we sort of people get this like oh they're artists a little bit weird uh, but something that I am very happy with because of this is I can hopefully express myself in a way that others can uh, either understand what I'm coming from or making their own drawing their own conclusion about my work and I feel like that's a little bit hard to to say it's fine in the beginning, but now I'm, I think I'm sort of coming to terms with that. So when I was, when I was young, I mean, I have okay, so I have never, never been skinny. Like, um, I have, I don't think I've ever, like, it was like extremely overweight as a child or young teen, but I was just never skinny. And when, I got into puberty or, you know, um, I don't know, like 11, 12, you know, when when, the, when stuff starts to happen in the body, um, I got depressed real quickly, real fast. They like, poof, not like overnight, but it, I mean, looking back, it kind of felt like a day just like out of nowhere. <laughs> um, and I remember one summer, I don't know how old I was, but I wasn't very old. And um, my grandma was sitting outside here and uh, I was wearing like, you know, a tank top or something. I didn't think much about what I was wearing. I mean, I'm growing up here in the country. Um, nobody is really paying attention to what I'm wearing as long as I'm not like overheating. I'm just going to use my, my studio palette. And I'm leaning over to put something on the table outside. You know, it's um, uh, over my grandmother, my mother's mother. And she sort of, I don't know, she doesn't grab, but she like pulls down the, uh, the collar of my shirt. And she says, like, but in Swedish, so roughly translating, like, something along the lines of that I have a big a lot of stretch marks or that I'm very young to have that many stretch marks or something you know um, and that is among the word I mean you can tell it's sort of etched into my to my memory that the it's not good whatever these bristnyar or stretch marks is it's not good the way she is looking the way she is reacting and the way she is commenting on this, it is bad. It is really, really bad. And I don't really know how to react, but that moment, I mean, I don't know how long that would last, uh, a few seconds, minute, two tops, has sort of etched into my brain. And. Uh, Obviously, because I can still talk about it and still recall it quite vividly, <laughs> had a pretty big effect, obviously. Um, and of course, I realized very soon that these stretch marks or bristningar in, in Swedish, like it tears. Um, that's not good. Is setting in my brain. And ever since that, um, that, that is sort of, I think, my first, like, womanhood, yeah. Uh, and because 
I don't know if it's because, but, but this, like, still, I mean, I am 27 now, and this has happened, I mean, it has to be around, like, I think 10 to 12, somewhere along that, uh, and I can still recall that quite vividly. So obviously that has had a, a pretty big impact on my, uh, how I view my own body, and that from a very, very young age, that, that sort of destroyed everything. And I took that as, you do not show that. Because of how she reacted, how she commented on it, I, I realized that that is not good. That is not something you want other people to see and you hide it. So um, now as everybody with stretch marks know, or anybody with scars, because I mean it's a scar, um, it fades. So whereas it's bright and like strong and almost like an open wound, uh, it fades. And now the stretch marks I have on my chest, you can't really tell, and I'm not as bothered by that. Uh, but knowing that they are there is, is enough. And uh, it took a long time for me to have low cut stuff. And I, I still feel very, very uncomfortable wearing low cut stuff. Now, partly because I feel like my chest is quite big, but also because I don't want people to see my stretch marks. And I just, that is, um, that is a pretty strong sensation. And I feel like I'm not the only one who have this or has grown up with, with this. Even if that is somebody telling you that you should hide that or that is ugly or that's uh, something undesirable or if it is something that you have picked up. But it also made me realize that little comment, I mean, I don't think she meant anything bad, right? She just could not think before she spoke ever. That was just her. Uh, but that made such an impact on me and how I view myself. And it made me realize like how a throwaway comment or a question or anything can be taken in um, quite the wrong way, quite easily. Uh, now, as somebody who has grown up a little bit, I can stand back and I can view this sort of scene from a little bit more of an objective standpoint. I can see that that the way child me took that um, was was not overreacting that I thought so many years. Like, I don't feel like I overreacted. I looked up to, to my grandmother and hearing her saying that, um, and I feel like my grandmother could have made such a huge difference uh, in my life um, if she just had changed the words that she used or if she hadn't said anything, <laughs> uh, but I think if she had said something else or if she hadn't said it in that tone, um, she could have made me proud or could have made me more confident or um, just feeling more like this is a natural thing instead of making me feel like I should be ashamed of them. Um, but if she hadn't, I wouldn't be sitting and talking about it here. So that yeah <laughs> um so yeah so that's my background the way i view stretch marks it's quite um quite sad but i also remember the first time i saw them in a different light like literally i saw stretch marks in a different light and I remember we were on a holiday uh, in Greece, we were sitting around a pool and there was uh, a woman there and she, well, I mean, she was just laying on one of those beds or chairs or whatever you call them. She had two little kids and 
she was asking me something in English and I think I was, I don't know, 13, 14 maybe, you know, early teens, so, you know, the chest was out. Um, and I mean, not like topless, I just mean like, I felt like they were big and stuff. Um, and she was asking me something in English and I was like, ooh, exciting to talk English, you know. But, so, something, but I remember looking at her because, you know, we're like on the same hotel and stuff and she had these she had the most amazingly um, brown skin and I'm, I mean it could be that I am uh, sort of making this more rosy than it actually is but in my remembrance she had like a very beautiful uh, brown skin and she had stretch marks because obviously she just she had two kids they were running around and because of the scar, they don't get the same pigmentation and they reflected the light. Just like they did on me, but on me it looked awful, I thought. But on her, they looked like silver. And she just looked so amazing. Like, yeah. That's what I remember, that she looked amazing. She was the most beautiful body that I'd ever seen. Um, I mean, I can't remember her exact, like, body, um, but I remember the colour, like, the colour of her skin and the stretch mark, and she just looked so, I don't know, so beautiful. It can also be that I felt very pale and that I have always felt like darker skin is more attractive, but we don't need to go in on our own skin colour specific, I just... That was like, I felt like, okay, so there is a possibility that the stretch marks can be beautiful. So here I am painting the breasts that have been definitely one of those parts of my body that I have felt the most uncomfortable with because I felt like they are too big, that they are not like the exact same size, that they are always on these models. They always have the exact same size and the nipples are always placed just so and um, I just felt like that I mean I'm not too crazy about my thighs or my stomach or you know whatever but my my chest or my breast has always been like a uh, sensitive topic. <laughs> I mean so anyway um, trying to make jokes okay so yeah and I felt like this um, when I've been doing these, painting these breasts and making the stretch marks with these uh, golden or metallic paint, it sort of made me feel like I am retraining my brain to thinking that this is beautiful. And I'm going to show you one painting that I am very happy with. And uh, it is uh, this one going to try to hold it up so you can see and to me these look like sun rays and just like I love this and I am very happy that I've painted them but not just like I have painted them so I can sell them and then get money but I have painted them and that way I can work on it myself <laughs> but also hopefully uh, it resonates with somebody else that um, feel like it is a difficult part of the body or a difficult topic. That is sort of what I wanted to do with it. So the pieces I have put up I've decided to call them beautifully scarred and I hope that name um, feels as true to you as it does to me. Yeah, they, they, they just mean a lot and if nothing else I have loved painting them and I'm hoping uh, watching this video if you feel like it would help to paint breast yourself you feel like oh yeah I could sort of follow along and, and see how she does it and um, yeah so that was my my thinking. So I've painted quite a lot of breasts. I've also googled quite a lot of breasts which has 
given me quite uh, weird search results. Uh, I was a little bit like, uh, but like, yeah, I wasn't prepared for everything that I saw, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. But uh, it's not that easy to find just because I wanted to find normal breasts. Not, um, uh, many breasts that I found were uh, after uh, enhancement surgery. Um, I could also find quite a lot of uh, scarring where you have removed breasts. And I have one of those pieces up, uh, painted with glimmer. Um, they are just like two lines for the scars. I realized that many have different types of scars. Um, the ones I painted are just because the reference. I tried to be as accurate as I could, um, but also using many different skin colors and, um, and sizes. And I don't have that many up, but if they are received well, I would like to put up more. And, um, yeah, I just, um, I, I feel like they, they are important and they deserve to be seen. So yeah, uh, <laughs> right now I feel like I am talking myself into circles and also uh, getting a little bit emotional. But that is the story, the uh, behind why I have so many original artworks of breasts up in the shop. And that is the story, um, my story, I suppose. That, um, what I was told when I was young and, um, yeah. I'm still living with that. I feel like that is something that is very deep rooted and will take a long time to, to heal. But, um, if I can help somebody or... Uh, drag somebody with me on that journey that is worth it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and um, Yeah, please check out the paintings if you're interested. So thank you so much. It means So much that you have listened to my story. I hope that it gave you some comfort or resonated with you in any way and um, Yeah Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon.